So what is required for a microscope for live cell uh, imaging? So um, here for live cell imaging, you need to have some basic features on basically every confocal and step microscope. The first thing is clearly that you want to have a climate chamber, which allows you to keep the cells over extended time periods in a kind of happy state because you're having it heated up to the right uh, temperature, having right humidity and so on and so forth. The next step is that you want to have the option to change between objective lenses. Because here it is important to match the immersional medium and the embedding medium um, of the salts. Here we can offer the option to use water lenses, silicone um, oil lenses, regular oil lenses, and so on and so forth. Another feature that is uh, clearly advantageous for live cell imaging, especially over extended time periods, is to have an autofocus unit in place, which is compatible with stat and confocal imaging. And that's one thing we can offer as well. The speciality of this autofocus unit is that you can operate it continuously together with stat imaging. Here you don't have to move in and out the autofocus unit. Here it's simply, you switch it on, it's operable um, continuously and you have it uh, basically uh, stabilized, the focus stabilized over extended time periods. Another point is the detection system clearly. On the detection side, it is clearly important, especially in under life cell conditions, that you have um, here the highest detection efficiency because especially when you have a li limited photon budget like in life cell imaging, you want to keep uh, all photons or you want to acquire all photons on the detector. And for this, we're having the detectors with the highest detection efficiency in the field included into our microscopes. So we have included into our microscopes um, a set of tools that allow you to reduce the light dose uh, dramatically while doing the live cell imaging. So it's very important because you want to have um, as low light intensities on the sample as possible during the live cell imaging. As a first step, we have included only pulse stat lasers into our systems. Here, um, this allows you to have the stat laser only on in a state where the fluorophores are in the on state. And after um, see the depletion of those fluorophores, the switching of the fluorophores, um, the stat lasers are as well in a kind of off state, which means you're, you're reducing the light dose here per default on the sample. The next step uh, that we have included uh, several years ago into our setups is a set of adaptive illumination schemes. Those adaptive illumination schemes allow you to switch on only the fluorophores um, at positions where a fluorophore is present. So the lasers um, will be in the, in the off state uh, when you're at positions where no fluorophores are in focus. And thereby uh, you, ca you can reduce the light dose dramatically on the sample and thereby extend the life um, of the samples um, significantly and uh, do extended live cell imaging movies.